Hi, I'm Joel Decker and I'm with Johnston Grimes Metropolitan Fire Department. And daylight savings is right around the corner. It's a good time to check your smoke alarms. So today we're going to check a smoke alarm. We were normally up here just checking the battery and while we were inspecting we realized this particular unit is about 14 years old. So these are meant to last about 10 years. So at this point in time, it's a good time to replace the actual smoke alarm itself. So we've already gotten one. And in this case, we'll want to swap out the bracket, take down the old bracket, and then we are going to install our new bracket. And in this case, you might run into a common issue. This plug does not look like this plug. So instead of having an electrician come out, there's options with adapters. In this case, we have an adapter to adapt from this style to our other style. Either plug and play, we're able to plug that adapter in, tuck the wire back into the box, plug in our new, And I have not connected our battery yet, so we know that it's now hooked up to house power. Now install the battery and then test it. That's what we were hoping to hear. The whole house goes off, not only just this one. All right, when you're out looking for a new smoke detector, some things to look for are the way that it plugs in. Like we talked about earlier, we have several different adapters here. We have a hardwired adapter that comes in the package that if you're handy enough and you're comfortable enough with electrical work, you can do this yourself and put in whatever plug it comes with. But if you're not, then you can have options like this. We have a wide three, which I would call, that adapts to a triangular three. There are different codes for these, but that's the easiest way to explain it when you're at the store. And then there's Kind of a narrow three that adapts to a triangular three. So there's plenty of options out there for adapters like that and if we're going to be the ones helping install this we'll need to we'll need to have some sort of adapter or the proper connection to start with. So hopefully you heard that little chirp as we were sitting here. That one single chirp means the battery is dying or dead. So one single chirp is no emergency. It means that you need to go up and swap out your battery. There it was again. So that's an easy swap. Just put in a new battery to fix that issue. While you're up there, good time to check how old, see how old your smoke alarm is. Like we said earlier, if it's older than 10 years, the alarm itself needs replaced. So when replacing your alarms, if you're at the store, you can actually find a unit that is not only the unit being good for 10 years, but also a lot of times now you can find either a sealed battery or an additional 10-year back battery backup. That means that nobody's climbing this ladder for 10 years unless there's a malfunction. So that is absolutely the best option for everybody instead of having to change your batteries every time you change your clock.